Namaste angels, this is the weekly love reading. Let's start with the dice. We're beginning with it's 50-50. Yeah, if you want to see it. 50-50. Massage. And buy shoes, which I actually just did. Still says it's 50-50, which also came up in the general. It's about give and take. It's about balance. Um, it can be one's own being, inner balance, masculine and feminine, working together harmoniously, both archetypes within yourself, or exchanges with other people, outside influences, partnership, 29, spiritual partnership. In this case, romantic spiritual partnership, divine unions, you know, sacred unions, twin flame relationships, soulmates, and weekend away. Did I actually do it? I did, right? Yes. It feels like I just looked at, the, at what we were beginning with and I didn't actually shake them up, but I did. Okay. Um, so with the... What deck is this? Ascendant Master deck. Beginning with see the other person's point of view. Anything else up right behind that? No. Behind that is freedom, which um, I expect will also come into play this week for a lot of, you know, um, different aspects of... I guess where you're able to free yourself and how you're able to free yourself or at least free your mind. Like I've, I've heard men in prison say that even they, um, some of them, which they achieve, you know, I guess the right chi or whatever, feel free because it's about like freeing your mind, freeing yourself from any inner prison is what's most important. And this week, Mars, the planet of action and aggression, enters the sign of Aquarius, the sign of humanitarianism and freedom. So it's interesting what takes place when that happens. And I talk all about it in the general reading. You can hear about it there. Uh, with the angel and animal tarots. Prince of water, page of cups. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A romantic relationship or relationship begins a new phase and there are heightened psychic abilities this person may be younger than you uh, or they may be more youthful so young you know not necessarily like immature but just more youthful playful maybe a pisces but can also be a cancer or scorpio or someone likened to those traits or attributes Next card is strength. It is not upright. Strength is, represents the sign of Leo. And from my hashtag creepy deck, blonde female, which is a representation of my representation in this particular deck of the divine feminine. It's kind of like the, you know, queen of wands. She is a redhead and it does signify um, also fire signs for me. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Or someone like into those traits or attributes and the planet Jupiter itself. All right, so I'm going to begin first with these. And the spread from the masculine perspective, I will mix them up for you. I almost forgot. So you guys know I pray over the cards and shuffle them and cut them and all that kind of stuff before I start the video as well. Brings us to the two of earth. This can also be about balance, similar to the die. It's 50-50. Um, for those of you who are single, if you're having trouble meeting anybody or connecting with anybody, even if it's, um, 
you know, you, because you're inside. <laughs> Don't, that, that's not the only reason. Like maybe you have somebody that you're talking to on the phone or text or FaceTime, whatever, and you still don't feel like it's like coming together. You've been trying online dating, what are, whatever means um, are available to you to meet somebody in these times. And it just seems that this doesn't seem to be working. It could be that you are working too much your, or your mind is too much on career and money and the material. And so that's why it's not coming together. Um, not necessarily that you're turning the other person off, although that could be a possibility, but more so that you are not, um, you're not, you know, you're not really present in the socializing aspect, the, the dating aspect of your life because you're too caught up in these other things. Um, this can, the two of pentacles or earth can also be about the need to make some sort of decision. Uh, for me, it is a deja vu from hell card at times too. Like when you find yourself back in the same scenarios over and over again, um, or in the same place, we've come to the same juncture with the same person over and over, or you find yourself, um, experiencing the same things, no matter who you date. It's like, do I, what do I have, you know, a sticker on my head that says, you know, toxicity, you know, come here, meet me, <laughs> you know, why do I keep experiencing the same things over and over and over? Um, there's a line in, in the Rihanna, Rihanna song, Take a Bow, that like sums it up for me. It's when she's um, watching the TV in the video and she's like, um, and they've had an argument. She's like, girl, I'm sorry, you're the one. Ooh, this looks like a rerun. What else is on? You know, it's like we keep coming to this place and I've heard this before and I'm in no mood. So those are all the possibilities. Um, for couples, same thing. If you're finding yourself like you're not connecting and you're already in a partner, a committed relationship, it could be because one or both of you are too um, caught up in work or the material or earning money or worrying about money and those sorts of things. Divine Feminine this week. The Eight of Autumn. It's the perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar, or conducting research. Do your best work, and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. So the Eight of Pentacles for me is a card that's about reaping what you've sown. Where you put your effort is from where you're going to get the reward. If you're trying to make a relationship work or you're trying to meet somebody, you got to put the effort out there. You got to put yourself out there. You got to go on the dating site or, you know, you got to uh, initiate a text every now and then. You got to put down your briefcase and, you know, say, let's have a drink or whatever. So that's that. The masculine as it relates to the feminine this week. It is the princess of winter, page of swords, logical, truthful, curious, and undiplomatic. This is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, Accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. The princess of winter is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. Particularly this week could be Venus herself. Venus, who um, is the esoteric ruler of the sign of Gemini, enters the sign of Gemini this week. Also, as I mentioned before, um, it could particularly be Aquarius energy. Mars enters the sign of Aquarius this week as well. This can also be about having something to say or receiving some sort of news or giving some sort of news. The masculine as it relates to himself this week. Very nice. It is Major Arcana card 19, Sun. Your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments that you so richly deserve. Um, the Sun is a funny card, is it? Uh, relates to love though in the tarot it first of all the sun on its own is just a super positive card um information could be coming out clarity we could be getting clarity right something could be illuminated that was dark before or what was done in the dark could be coming to light this week we could be learning something that we did not know about at all um we could be
something can be going on in a sunny climate um, for somebody. Just got something about the sunny climate. And I tell you, the people are still turning up in Florida, so maybe that's what it's about. Maybe there. Um, funny enough, though, for committed relationships, this card can be about the need for space. You know, that it's not the time to be clingy. Maybe some people are getting cabin fever. Maybe you're longing for a sunny climate. You're longing to get out into the sun and get outside. And you've been stuck inside with your partner. That could be what I was getting just now. Um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, of course, then the sun is, is a positive card. But it really can be about a warning. Not the time to be clingy or, you know, whiny or like trying to poke at the bear, if you know what I mean. Um, okay. And that's pretty much for committed relationships. I guess it doesn't really apply if you're, if you're <laughs> single, like, you know, but you know, even with new people you meet, just, you don't want to be too pesky, um, I guess with them. And that could be what this is a warning about too. Like it says, if you get, somebody tells you something that maybe you ne that not, don't necessarily want to hear. Um, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. You know, somebody could be telling you to chill out or fall back or it's like it's too much. Relax. This is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. So that can be what it is. Like, babe, you're crowding me. You know what I mean? Don't take it personal, basically. Masculine as it relates to the um, union or connection as a whole this week. And it is Major Arcana card 14, Balance. Both of these cards represent the sign of Sagittarius. What I say at the beginning of the reading, too. We started with um, the blonde. They call it the blonde female. She's a redhead, if you ask me. And I say I attach her to the redhead signs. I mean, uh, to the fire signs. The redhead signs. The fire signs, beginning with Sagittarius and also including Sagittarius's ruler, the planet Jupiter himself. Um, so these two cards also represent that energy. This is temperance. And temperance um, is a card about negotiation and collaboration and coming together, you know, so maybe this is where see the other person's point of view is coming into play. Um, some sort of collaboration or or the mending of a relationship coming back together, but you gotta we gotta see each other's side. It can be about coming together despite stark differences. Like, you know, that's probably why they have the zebra on here. Like one is black, one is white. And maybe it was a it was a difficult situation for us before. But now we've realized we can come together anyway, uh, you know, despite that and be striped or be gray or be spotted or whatever. Um, as we said in the beginning, with the page of cups... One may be older than the other. It could be an age difference, maybe particularly the female, for example, because mo most people don't, people that have a problem with it, um, it tends to be if the female is older than the male, not because a, a male is older than a female, for whatever that's about. Um, inequality, that's what it's about. In any case, <laughs> uh, it could be that sort of situation and you're finding a way to come together nonetheless, which is beautiful. Um, overall, crowning major arcana card 21 the world which is also represents fire energy for me it feels like fire you know i've been asked i told you before i have been asked what that means but I, I i can't explain it i don't know what it means really it just feels like fire so i haven't attributed to any one fire sign or another um so you know leo sagittarius aries but even more more than the signs themselves it tends to feel to me like, you know, like it's the planets. So it is like Jupiter himself or Mars himself that is um, bringing forth this energy of change. And um, the world for me is about something coming full circle, perhaps. You know, so maybe again, like, you know, the deja vu from hell. This has come around a lot of times and maybe this is like the end. This is the last time it's coming around. We're not dealing with this again. Um, you know, good, bad or indifferent. Um it's also about being eased out of a situation that just doesn't resonate with your soul anymore. And you need to be moved into one that better does. And the universe, rather than towering you with it, it's slowly taking you out of a relationship in which you didn't belong in or an energy 
that was, you know, preventing you from maybe from being in the relationship that you belonged in, whether you're single or a couple, or that was, um, you know, taking an existing relationship in the wrong direction, getting out of that energy, out of that mindset, out of that frame of mind or head, you know, headset and moving into one that's more open and willing to, um, meet somewhere in the middle, come to a consensus, collaborate with others, work better with others. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you've set out to do. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons that life offered you with grace and courage. So learning from something from the past in order to fix the future. It can also have to do with parties of three, not necessarily a love triangle, but that's definitely possible. And that may be what we're coming out of, ending the love triangle, coming together in a um, far more healthy way and balanced way with just one other person or something like that could be what's going on. What, the, um, what energy the masculine would have the feminine give to the union or connection this week? Seven of winter. This is one of like taking a risk on something. Caution will help you to avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources such as time or peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. And I just want to look at how it is crossing now technically the page of swords. Um... I said that something could be coming out this week, right? With the page of swords and then double down on that when the sun joined, because the sun can be about clarity, illuminating what was done in the dark coming to light. Then we talked about the possibility of party of three, For some people that's what's up. Okay. Some other person, other party on one, what or one side or the other, or both even, um, it's being revealed that this thing went on. And it, that's, it's coming to an end one way or another. For um, other people, that, I mean, in general, the Seven of Swords is about um, trust in relationships. So it could definitely be an issue of mistrust and, again, something coming out. But in this position of what the masculine, what energy the masculine would, be, would have the feminine give to the union this week... Um, you know, of course, it would be the reversal of that. It would be trust. You know, he would, like, trust me. Maybe it isn't what it seems. It isn't what it looked like. And maybe that's what's going to be revealed. Sun is going to shine light on what the situation truly was. Or is for someone. If you're in a committed relationship already and there's issues of trust, then you guys need to talk. You guys need to talk. And that's what the page of winter is or swords is about also. Um, and again, see the other person's point of view and listen, allow them to talk to you, you know, be present for the conversation, not, not blocked. So this is allowing for negotiations and, you know, conversation from each side so that we can get back to a place that's more balanced and healthy with temperance. If you are single and you meet somebody and you do like them, then this is about not coming off as if you don't. Right? Let the real you shine through. What energy the masculine himself willing to give to the union this week? This is Major Arcana Card 9, Hermit. Maybe some of them have something to think about. What they're going to say, introspection. Also, this can, can be about clarity. Um, the Hermit for me can be like a professor or a lawyer, so from whom we learn something. Take time for contemplation, to retreat and to go within. Be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment as well. So this can be about enlightening somebody, again, helping somebody to come to clarity, to understand. So this can be truth coming out, explanation coming out, clarity coming out in some form. And the outcome. Very nice. Major Arcana card zero, the dreamer. 
a leap of faith. Remember I said this is about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, trusting. And here we have it, a leap of faith. Follow your dreams, because that is what leads to unexpected opportunities. In this deck in particular, the dreamer, um, who's actually the fool in the traditional tarot, this card, just like the world feels like fire, this one has always felt like Mercury to me. Yes, the planet Mercury. <laughs> so, And therefore, the signs, particularly of Gemini and Virgo. And I think the fact that we have them both showing up here, um, those energies will be very prevalent this week. And a Gemini, an air sign can be significant for somebody, but maybe a Gemini in particular, Sagittarius in particular, Virgo in particular, if you're trying to figure out um, with whom. And now I just, because we've been so many of us locked in the house and we have the outcome. I also have been checking as of last week to see what might come out. So we'll do that. Um, I think we'll do that with a card from each deck. what might come out so from the ascended masses what they want to say for the feminine might come out here yeah, we're getting an opportunity to choose peace and that goes exactly with what the masculine um, would like for the union or connection as a whole this week. Again, being able to come together, collaborate, negotiate, fix whatever differences or resolve whatever differences we had. Choose peace. Choose peace can be a few things. You could be choosing your own peace of mind. Like, I'm choosing peace, so I'm going to leave this alone, this situation, whatever it is. Um... Or I'm choosing peace, so I'm going to resolve a situation with you, or both. Also, because we want peace of mind, sometimes we have to get something off, you know, our chest. We, this is when we have to talk about something. The um, masculine from the Ascended Masters with, like, what coming up this week, you can do it. So this is encouragement, support from the universe to whatever he has to do. Um, if it is to say something that maybe has been difficult to say or to, um, resolve a situation that's been difficult to resolve, Archangel Michael saying, you can do it. What else um, coming out this week? For the feminine, dark male, and this is my representation of the divine masculine in this deck, um, dark male. So I would say a bunch of you, again, could be hearing from this person, whether you've been in contact and, you know, fairly consistently or you've been in separation. They could, be, they could be stepping up or somehow the presence, you know, made, made clear to you that they're there. This could be literal. I got to fix this card. This could be literal. Um, what could be coming out could be, could be news that maybe the masculine has some sort of child or children um, of which you weren't aware. And or, um, I guess more positively, this can be uh, him announcing some sort of new start in some area um, of his life or that he would like to have with you. You know, very empress-like kind of energy. Or you can end or... He could be learning. Maybe that the feminine is pregnant. That's also something. <laughs> Very nice to go along with choosing peace and the divine masculine here for the feminine. The two of summer, two of cups. This is what's coming up for you this week. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship, which is basically what I just said when we saw this guy. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can also still be saved. Don't give up. And lastly, for the masculine, brand new start. Just like I said, abundant new start. I said I was getting Empress feels. And the Empress or Venus does rule the sign of Taurus. 
and she also rules abundance in general as well as love and she rules love she rules money you can expect a windfall of abundance such as money timely assistance a serendipitous meeting or rewarding advice you may be offered a fabulous new job or a promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment and speaking of um special like um Rewarding advice that could definitely be coming from the hermit. You may be getting that advice from a Virgo specifically. Very possible. I will do another spread. We'll mix these up again real good. Before your eyes. And then I'll get this video up to you. and hope that you enjoy it and find it helpful. So the cards I just used, we'll just stick these in randomly, different places first. And we'll mix them up again. Doing some on the top, some underneath, just all mixed up. Very nice. And that brings us to more Gemini energy. And it is Major Arcana Card 6, The Lovers. True and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart with caring actions and choices. divine being or couple is the first card in this placement and it is eight of summer eight of cups you feel that there's more to life than what you're living so it's time to move on you may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy either way you're in control eight of summer so you could be moving on again from difficulty not speaking moving on from a situation or moving toward a situation with that world Ending something, moving towards something new, brand new, or with the masculine's empress-like card and with the shared um, fool, all about a brand new path we're walking, leaving something old behind, doesn't work, doesn't resonate with our soul anymore, moving towards something new. Uh, recent past. The Ace of Spring, a wonderful new opportunity, presents itself. It may have come as a surprise, but you'll still want to leap into action and to passionately pursue every opportunity or possibility this ace of spring as soon as i pulled it i've said this this is when the sun entered aries you know so this is more that mars energy mars is the ruler of aries and again mars rules into the sign of aquarius this week but i i just feel like this is when um so was sort of activated last week that's that recent past so you can think about what's been going on in your life since then. Near future. What I say about the Empress? Here she is. Near future. Major Arcana card three, the Empress. Time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. So this can mean a few things. It can just mean an abundant future in the area of love. Something brand new. Brand new starts that are going to be fruitful and you know strong there's going to be some real attraction sexual attraction physical attraction between the two of you 
or as a single, you will be extremely attractive. People will be attracted to you if you're walking around with this empress energy. This can also be, um, again, more literal for some in terms of fertility. Good time to work on getting pregnant if you're interested in that. And or some people, you know, finding out and or announcing that they are pregnant. Or maybe even giving birth this week. The Empress represents the signs, the planet Venus and the signs that Venus rules, Taurus, Libra, Gemini. Um, masculine's higher self. <laughs> Major Arcana card 21, the world. So again, something coming to an end, coming to a close, being eased out of one situation uh, so that we can be eased into something that better resonates with our soul our, and our, our purpose. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude in the path toward enlightenment. Enlightenment like the hermit. Enlightenment like the sun. So again, coming into that clarity. Um, blocks to individual or joint progress. Nine of hope. This is um, nine of cups. I was going to say nine of hope because this is about hope. It's about faith. And so if it's in the position of a block, there's been a lack thereof. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. You have a love of life. This is about like your block is like it, about you not having the focused intention and the faith to hold it and, you know, to, to manifest it in. That's what's been the block. But how the feminine can, what the feminine can do to help herself. I do like the natural progression, though, from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. What the feminine can do to help herself. Six of Earth, you have to be able to both give and receive love. A lot of us, myself included, you know, have difficulty with the receiving part. We give, 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 and then, you know, we complain about not receiving, but it's because it's been a block. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities and receiving a loan or paying off debts. The six of earth also represents the planet Venus for me, particularly in this deck. I mean, doesn't this look like Venus? You see all her signs in there. Um, well, at least I do. <laughs> all this like scat scattered air back here. That's the Gemini, again, which she enters this week. The scales of balance. That's the, um, the Libra. And then all this green, that's the Taurus. But more importantly, again, this card is about unconditional love and the ability to both give and receive and to allow love to pass both ways, which it needs to be able to do to be healthy. And, you know, it's it's unconditional. This is not love with agenda. This is true and long lasting love, like our overall energy says. This is not love with agenda. Like if you do this, then I'll love you. Oh, I don't love you because you did that. Um. What the masculine can do to help himself this week. Three of fire, which is like the world, right? I said the world feels like fire to me and it equals three also. So it's like another three of fire. The world requires patience. You're being eased out of a situation. The three of fire requires patience, but it says that the, the thing you're trying to manifest or you've been wanting to manifest, it is, you, it, you're, on your way, you're on your way there. It's just not yet. It's, it may require some patience. you got some work to do. Abundance, though. Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. Again, for some, the, it's a bundle, not abundance. And the long term is nine months. you got nine months to plan, like the Nine of Cups. Um, we'll be hearing about some of you this week. <laughs> What the universe or God would have each or both of us do, wants us both to do, um, to, you know, in terms of giving energy toward the union or connection this week, and even wants to help us with, but we have to first affirm because we have free will, is nice. The queen of water, tenderhearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. This is like the card of love. Wants us to come together in a healthy way and to grow as a, you know, as a couple or as, a, as an individual able to open, um, be open and welcoming to love. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. And the outcome here. Four of air. Interesting. Time to rest or take a vacation. 
Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. This too is a card um, similar to the sun about needing or wanting a break and possibly even taking a vacation or wanting to take a vacation, planning a vacation. I'm going to pull another card. We're going to look for the next upright card here. So you're going to see me do it. This one's upside down. This one is the next upright card to clarify the four of swords. The nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. So where there's some people getting the feeling of they need a break. It probably shouldn't be a break up. <laughs> just a break. Like maybe again, this is a message for people who are um, just in too close of quarters right now. And you're having trouble getting away from each other. Um, have finding having trouble finding your own peace and stuff. <sighs> Don't let that like destroy you and destroy your connection. For those who are single, I see something here for you, for you too. You may say, well, there is nobody up under me bothering me, but I see something here too. Are there things about you that you want to change? Um, maybe before you get involved with somebody, the message is that this is the time for you to take this break to work on you. If you are single, if you are coupled again, it, it, it sort of means the same thing as, as this one does. And the sun, um, it's about space. The nine of fire wands as it relates to love, um, is about space. It, it says that a relationship can't take like a constant Beating, it's not going to survive that way. Um, so you just need a break. If you live together and you're struggling with that, maybe you can each go in a different room every now and then or something like that. Or, you know, take time, you know, dedicate some time to yourselves each day. From this time to this time, I'm going to sit and read and you can go do your thing or whatever. That you don't have to constantly be up under, up under each other. I'll mix these up a little bit too. Oop. Slippery little suckers. All right, we'll put these a little bit mixed up. these because we'll use them a little bit too oh okay very nice and now what's on the um the overall energy of from the hashtag creepy deck is now union which is very nice and i hadn't looked at this one and it is yes and lord ganesha it means, yes, I will knock down the uh, obstacles that have been in front of you, the things that have been blocking you from moving forward. Yes, abundance is on its way to you. So that's positive. Further to that, to the masculine, you have a message of control. And with all this fire, I'm going to say in the Aries energy, in the Mars, it's um, about you taking control of yourself and like making your own choices and not letting anyone else or anything else dictate those maybe it takes us back to the part about the differences and stuff and perhaps it bothered you or somebody you know before and people were in your ear and it's just not anymore this is about you again taking control it's very mars very you know action oriented and take charge and leader you know be a leader in your own life feminine Wow, isn't it funny how the cards, they're like the same theme, the same color, these two cards. Um, of course, that's not a mistake. For the feminine, her card is short term. So this is about something being temporary. If there's, again, temporarily, you need, you need a break. Temporarily, you guys need space from each other. 
temporarily you've got to work on yourself because you're stuck in the house. This is not going to be forever, you know. Um, so take the opportunity to and use it in a positive way. It can also be about temporary heartache, temporary separation, short term, you know, breakup or something for some people. For the masculine, father, husband, brother, son, Osiris. This is about a masculine energy with which you need to heal a relationship. And it can be your own inner masculine. And maybe that's why you need to go within um, like the hermit or and or why you want to be by yourself. Why you feel like you need a break or some space to work on those things. Feminine. Drink more water, says Oshun. So this could be a period of ascension for the feminine. That's typically when she comes up for me. Um, in general, in the 3D sense, it's always important to make sure we're drinking enough water too um, and not becoming dehydrated. And that may be something that's extra important now um, in terms of just keeping up your immune system and your overall health so that you're not vulnerable. Masculine for you, it's another empress. This is your third empress of the night, right? One is here, one was in the other spread or empress light card, and now this one. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nine of water, also a, um, the card of dreams, right? It's about your dreams coming true. So if it's in the position of being a block, you maybe in the past were um, hesitant to give birth to your dreams. That could be what you were um, like allowing other people to get in your head about. But now, um, this week, there is guidance again to give birth to your dreams, to nurture yourself and others. Again, the empress in your life may specifically represent a Libra, Taurus, or Gemini. And for the feminine, it's our second hermit of the night. Um, so we too perhaps need to go within and spend some time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. And that may be a special additional message to, again, the singles. Is there something about you you'd like to work on? Now is the period. I realized this love reading wasn't very romantic this week, um, but it's like it's leading up to it's preparing us for this hope you guys have enjoyed it and i will be back soon with something else if you did like it please give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind sharing please do if you're not yet a subscriber please consider becoming one by hitting both the subscribe button and the bell button and if you like any services from me any information for that will be in the description box below as will information on just how to you know get in touch with me on social media for us to interact be friends and all that stuff namaste